Hello everybody out there, I'm Chris. Mike. And welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Mayhem. We are officially in the month of April. And we got lots of April goodies. Ah. So, in this video we're going to be opening up the Nerd Block Classic for April 2015. Yep, so let the nerds begin. I am going to promote this now because we don't know uh, if we'll be getting it at some point. But Nerd Block did mention the, the box cutter mystery knife of awesome lightning bolt. Um, Nerd Block did say that they will be doing another new block soon, so we will see uh, as uh, the blocks oh, become available. Micah says they are uh, geek tested, nerd approved. All right, you want to start or I want to start? Uh, ah! this, uh, this. And of course he's going to pull out an empty bag. Okay, my turn. So I'll pull out That's not this. Oh, no, 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 you pulled it out. That's it. This is a Pac-Man oh, mug. Ooh, I hope we uh, got that. There's only one of, oh yeah, it's one of a kind. One of a kind. You can take that. And basically you oh. put hot coffee in it and Pac-Man and all the little dots appear. Oh, that's cool. I think that is awesome. Great way to start the box. Now I'll choose. There's a Ghostbuster theme for this month. And it is the, um, ooh, it's the Ecto-1 uh, of the... Uh, Titan's wow. vinyl figure, the Mini Ecto-1. It's a 4.5 inch. Nice. That's really cool. So, yeah. Cindy's going to have to hold it up to the camera, though, because it's pretty dark. I don't think you'll be able to see it. And then again, we get these. The Nerd Play Series 1 trading cards, which apparently are, I believe they say, exclusive to Nerd Block. So, Mike and I will look at them, and then I'll give them to Cindy. And she'll show them off. Oh, I know that woman. Which one? Oh. And you have a chance of getting a hollow foil, which of course we didn't. I know this woman also. So more of the go behind the counter show. Then you can do it. Okay. Here next is that. All right, then next is. They book. can't see. Ooh, Kevin Smith. Ooh, Kevin Smith's tough. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, with the cover. So, oh wow, Kevin Smith actually made a book. I didn't know that. We know him from uh, Comic Book Men and uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, I'll uh, probably look through this. Okay, so here we go. So we'll put that right there. Away from Tommy right now <laughs> until Cindy's done showing. I'm trying. I'm. All right. All right so next I'll, I'll and finally. Okay, there's two more. Is uh, actually there's a run. Oh, <laughs> Back to the Future, the three different DeLoreans from Back to the Future. This is awesome. Let me see. Um, can't see it. Can you? There's a mug in the way. Move the mug, Mike. Now move the tag, Chris. There we go. Okay. So, all right. That is an awesome shirt. Okay. All right, we'll see it now because I was... And then this is the rundown. We got the shirt, <clears throat> the book, the mug, and the cards, along with the awesome Nerd Block yeah, certified exclusive Echo One. Now it's judgment time. I know I'm giving it. Okay, now I love Pac-Man. So this is an awesome Everyone mug. Loves Pac -Man. It's Thirty years. The Nerd Block Ecto One. Vinyl figure, which you I want to take, take it, it out. out. Hell yeah, because everybody wants you to do that. I mean, they're watching this video, they want to see everything, right, Tommy? So, of course, we're going to take it out and show it. It has a nice background, which I wish came out, but I guess you got to. Oh, wait, maybe it does come out. Hold this a second. Okay. Oh, it doesn't roll? Oh, it doesn't roll. No, it doesn't come out. I'll have to fiddle around with this later, but there is a nice background of the, of the engine. It doesn't roll. It's okay. So like, this I is like a really right. nice replica of the Ecto-1. The cards, eh. I would say eh to the book. But it's Kevin but Smith. But it's Kevin Smith. How could you say eh? But again, though, when it comes to mystery boxes, and I will say this every time, even if it is Kevin Smith's book, and who doesn't love Kevin Smith? He's an awesome guy. Yeah. When I get a subscription box, if I want books like this, I would subscribe to the library. I would much rather have stuff than books. This could have been replaced with something else. So I love Kevin Smith, which is why I won't give it a minus this time. But, for example, when there was Bitten in the Horror Block and there was that other book with um, the 
can't remember his name. Either. Wow! Simon Scott, Pegg? Simon Pegg. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. These are that... I'm. You know, Simon Pegg's an awesome guy, but I'm not interested in his book. And I don't watch Bitten, so I don't give a crap about that book. This book is Kevin Smith, again. Probably not going to have time to read it, so it's a waste. I would rather have more collectibles than books. If you're going to make a book box... If that's the big reveal nerd block, that you're going to do a book box, great. Keep the books out of the rest of the bro the blocks. Box. The shirt is flipping awesome. Oh, no, I got to give this a four out of five stars. It touches four. You know, it's Kevin Smith, four and a half. This was an excellent block. I really love the stuff that came in. Not a lot, but for what we got, we got really great stuff. I will say that. All right. Uh, Pac-Man in uh, exactly. respect to 30 years. I like I, I love Pac-Man, actually. It's a never-ending game. The Ecto-1, big Ghostbuster fan, so that's a big, huge plus. Even though it doesn't roll, it's good for display. The cards are a little bit alright, and even the book was... Uh, I'm giving it a plus two because, it, like you said, it's Kevin Smith, and I really like the shirt. So my rating, I would give it a four out of five. Same thing. Well, you gave it four and a half. You said. I said four to four and a half out of five. Oh, well, yeah, well, the Kevin Smith. I, all right, well, I yeah. give it a four out of five. So it's a well, great, almost I almost this. got it. So this was a really nice nerd block. Again, my only concern is that nerd block doesn't, you know, throw a book in. I mean, the reason why I ended up, and I'll say it here, the reason why I ended up dropping the horror block was because I wasn't interested in the Rue Morgue that was with it. So we are getting one more horror block this month, but then I actually discontinued horror block because mm. I want swag. The reason we buy the mystery swag. boxes is because we want... New. We want it's, Called swag. We I, want, I know, but I'm. We I want heard you items. Say that. We don't want books. If we want books, I I know a lot of people that do this. There's a there's an anime, uh, not an anime, a manga box. There's a lot of boxes out there that do books already. Uh, I'm sure the public library at some point will jump in on this and do some blind boxes with some reading. I would like that the announcement, but uh, that would be awesome. If that's the announcement, then I I just spoiled it for everybody, and I apologize. <clears throat> but I want stuff. I think that's why we love the arcade block so much. Because the arcade block is just straight up stuff. It's games, too, that we grew up with as well. The ones yeah. we know, at least. Hopefully right. we don't get another one of these in the arcade block. <laughs> Alright, well, let's... Uh... Alright, so with that, that's it for this episode of Mystery Box Mayhem. As always, don't forget to check out Comic Related, Comic Frontline, Zone 4 Podcast, and Frontline Gaming Zone. Together we are your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. And until next time, everybody... Take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, everybody.